Well, it's funny how this whole thing started. I actually got hired to just design a t-shirt for an event in Los Angeles. During the course of designing it and filming the video for it, I made a comment towards the end talking about how perfect the game was and the gameplay was, but it was just lacking a little something and it was, and I put out, put it out there that it was uh, lacking graffiti. Being a graffiti artist and from a graffiti background, we want to bomb on everything, you know? That's the whole point, getting up, you know? And I, I saw it as a, as a means to get up, so I put it out there, you know, not knowing what would come about it or come out from it, and to my surprise, they liked the idea, so much so that they hired me to come in and bomb the shit out of the game. The whole thing with graffiti is like anti-system, anti-something, and without nothing on the wall to be anti about, it was just decorative graffiti. I wasn't with that. So, well, we, we kind of went in and we designed a whole campaign of posters that were pro, you know, the military, and what we did was we fucked it all up. We did a lot of research for this thing. Besides the World War II stuff, what kind of stuck out in my mind was the whole thing with um, called Locust. We used everything from mean streaks to chalk to different markers, pencils, dirt from in the back, you know, from the alley. Of course, spray paint, you know, uh, roller paint, scribers, anything we could get our hands on, basically, to get a certain effect. The color palette we, we went with, for the most part, on, uh, as far as all the painting, we did a, a lot of like buff paint and whites and grays and and blacks. And I wanted to keep it true to like even their game feel is kind of dark and gloomy. But you do see some hints of color here and there, but they're definitely layered and in the background and with posters on top of that. You got the vintage posters on top of some colorful graffiti with buff paint on it. and then we think we're finished and then we go and buff the whole thing out, you know, and then, so it was definitely a process. Now I really gotta give it up to Cliff and his crew for, for really stepping back and, uh, and letting us go on this one and, and have fun with it and trusting what we can do and what we do best. And, you know, props and I hope we killed it for you like you thought we would. So, enjoy.